how long before, uh, you know, Gabor, you know, you, you brought it up with science fiction. So how long, ballpark, before we can start using this, let's take the simple one, as your clinical trial model helper? Is that a year, two years, five years, just the simple one? Well, in fact, that is already going on. So I know, here, not in the U.S., right? Uh, well, it depends. The, this interfacing between the human clinical trials and the animal trials using those tissue construct, that is already going on. Uh, pharmaceutical companies love such structures, and they, they try their, their drugs, they test their drugs already on them. So as far as just the tissue constructs are concerned, that's coming big time. As far as organs themselves are concerned, again, it depends what you mean by organ. Uh, there are already clinical trials on the way with vascular grafts. So if we can make vascular grafts, that is a big step towards making more complex. So a blood vessel or a patch on the heart right. grafted on is certainly a whole lot, a order of magnitude easier than trying to build some kind of organ. Correct. I wasn't even going to go to the organ. Right. Okay. So uh, one, of the, one of the members of the community here asked, you know, this has a you know, natural sort of analog with stem cells. So how uh, are these cells are clearly not stem cells. How does this interface with the stem cell discussion, which is obviously top of mind? Okay. Well, stem cells are sexy. They are around. We all love them. Uh, well, we still have many problems with stem cells. Uh, we, cannot 100 we cannot be 100% sure when we take those undifferentiated cells and th give them some cocktail so that we can entice them into a differentiated cell type that we want, that they are really going to do exactly what we want them to do. So we right now are trying to avoid the use of stem cells as much as possible. Imagine a biopsy, you go into the human body, you s scoop out a few millions of cells, and then you grow them up in the lab. And most of the tissues in our body are composed of cells that we can, we can really grow in the lab. So there are some that we cannot do that. And there, we may really resort to stem cells. So I believe that with the, with the, with the improvement of uh, cell culture methods, we will get uh, at, at a point where we will need to use stem cells because those are, those are great, and we will need many, many, many cells. Well, Gabor, I know that you've done a lot with this uh, printer and with this technology, so uh, now that I've seen it in person, because we've only chatted before on the phone, uh, I'm going to see if I can't twist your arm and maybe we can bring you back and do some other things. So that'll be a, maybe I can get you to do that. So we'll talk more about it. But for now, we want to thank you very much for thank that. Thank you.